Hey everyone, this is Derek Christian with Cleaning Business Builders and want to talk to you today about setting expectations. Had a bit of a kind of funny experience that happened to me over the weekend that reminded me of this and that is my daughter went to go see Mary Poppins Returns, the new Mary Poppins movie and when she went with her grandmother, when she came back, asked her what she thought and she went, it sucked. I was like, what do you mean it sucked? I thought you would love that movie. She said, they did nothing but sing. It was horrible and I was all surprised. I'm like, Lindsay, it was a musical. You didn't realize that? And she's like, no, didn't want to watch a musical. It sucked. And when I was like, well, you know, Mary Poppins is kind of a famous musical, kiddo. And she said, well, I watched all the previews and it never said it was a musical. And so she pulled up the preview, which was on YouTube, and it's a minute and 15 seconds long. And in the entire minute and 15 seconds, she literally sings like three words for like a couple of seconds. And she watched it and said, I expect it to be like a happy Harry Potter. It's all about magic and the wonders of imagination and all of the great adventures these kids are going to have. Nowhere in there does it tell me it was a musical. I didn't want to go to a musical. Now, here's the funny part. My daughter actually likes musicals. This kid is reading an 800-page history book right now because she wants to go see the Hamilton musical, and I told her she could have my ticket, but only if she read the biography which the musical was based on. So she's reading an 800-page book right now because she wants to go to a musical, and she's been to Elf, and I can't even remember all. She's been to a ton of musicals with me and always has fun, but she was mad, and is still mad, but by the way, to this day, if I mention to her, she gets quite upset about this, um, about Mary Poppins because she wasn't expecting a musical. She was expecting something else and they didn't deliver what she thought. And the reason why I bring this up is we can, in our business, sometimes get really tempted to go for the sale and promise the stars and moon and promise customers something which it's not going to be. And I used to be really bad at this because um, I had a little bit of an ego about my company. And I thought, you know what? We're really good. I know me. I know my people. We're good. So when someone would call in and talk about how picky they were and how other companies had let them down, I almost felt it was like a challenge. I'm like, yeah, I can make you happy. I know no one else could, but I'm sure my people can. And over time, I've learned all I'm doing is setting myself up for failure. And I need to be very clear with customers about what we're going to do and what we're not going to do. So when somebody would mention they've been unhappy with other cleaning services, I would start poking at it, making sure they understand that that we are not going to do their laundry. We are not going to do their dishes. Um, it, I got to the point where I was practically unselling customers and making sure they understood exactly what was going to get delivered in their house. Because once again, the importance of alignment. If a customer is expecting a maintenance claim, and they get a maintenance clean, they're happy. It's like my daughter. If she knew she was going to a musical and saw a musical, she actually probably would have been happy. But instead, to this day, she swears Mary Poppins is the stupidest movie ever because that's not what she was expecting to see. Um, and we have to do the same thing. So don't oversell it. Don't talk about how perfect it's going to be. If it's a touch-up, call it a touch-up. You know, don't call it a top-to-bottom, super-duper scrubby clean unless it's a top-to-bottom, super-duper scrubby clean. Call it a maintenance clean. Call it a routine clean. Call it something like that. You know, if you've got a move clean that is not super detailed, make sure you explain to them that this is a move out clean. We used to have one that we was uh, designed for people moving out of apartments. And when people would ask us to describe it, I'd say it's the absolute minimum you need to do to get your security deposit back. But if you're really picky, you're going to find dirt. And customers really quickly went, oh, mm, I understand what I'm going to get. And so when they came in, they didn't call us and say things about, well, there was dirt in the corners. I'm like, yes, remember we told you this was the absolute minimum it would take to get your security deposit back and not a little any anymore. If you want a detail clean, we have a detail top to bottom, super clean. And here's how much that costs. So it's just really important to make sure expectations align. Do not overpromise. Make sure they understand that they're getting what they expected. Because when you have a mismatch, they're automatically going to be upset at you. They're not going to say, oh, I didn't understand the clean. They're going to say, you didn't deliver what I expected. So don't oversell. I'm sure some genius at Disney who put together this preview for Mary Poppins did research and found that when they showed that Mary Poppins was a musical, the kids didn't want to go. And when they showed the cut they did that made it look like the way my daughter referred to it, a happy version of Harry Potter, Harry Potter where everyone doesn't die, um, she wanted to go. And I'm sure in their little test markets that made tons of kids want to go. And it might have even worked. And they got those kids into the movies and the kids watched it. But at least in my daughter's case, she now hates this movie. And if Disney is going to come out with a number three or try to sell her merchandise or try to get any repeat business out of her, it's gone. They blew it 
by misrepresenting what they were going to show her. And in our business, where the reoccurring revenue is everything, don't misrepresent what you're going to give somebody. Make sure they understand it, then make sure you deliver it. And hopefully that helps you out today, and you can learn a little about uh, your business from what Disney did wrong with Mary Poppins and my daughter.